Welcome to this auto pipe training class on jacketed pipe design. Jacketed pipe is used where external heating or cooling is required to maintain the primary product being transported in a desired state. In auto pipe, jacketed piping is modeled as two separate segments with different pipe identifiers to represent the carrier and jacket pipes. The two segments might be constructed of different materials and might have different operating conditions. The carrier pipe is supported by the jacket at regular intervals using either spacers or flange dens. Spacers are modeled as two-point components. For example, you can model a guide between a carrier segment point and a jacket segment point with the same coordinates. Flanged ends can be modeled at the end connections, usually using a structural element. When modeling jacketed piping and auto pipe, be aware of some considerations. New segments cannot be inserted at the start of two-point components such as valves, but new segments at the end of a valve are acceptable, so you'll need to insert a small run point before the valve to connect the jacket segment. Modeling jacketed piping and auto pipe is ideally suited for the user-friendly copy and paste operations. If both the carrier and jacket are filled with liquid, the jacket-specific gravity would have to be adjusted. Be sure to apply loads like wind and snow to the outer jacket pipe only. Be careful with your hydrodynamic loading and your insulation, as those are also commonly only applied to the jacket. And lastly, be sure to include the axial force to account for high loads due to the difference in temperature between the two pipes. Thank you for joining this presentation portion of the Auto Pipe Jacketed Pipe Design class. In the next video, we will go through a workbook example together. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.